Before we start making some complex programs in Python, I want to explain the concept of indentation in Python. Now, unlike other programs, indentation is absolutely critical in Python. It determines how the code is grouped together. And as you'll see in some examples now, the importance of indentation affects the way the program actually runs. So let's look at a simple example of using a for loop. Now indentation in other programs is not as necessary as it is in Python, but you'll see shortly how important and how the whole program changes when we use indentation and when we don't use indentation using very much the same commands. So let's use that for loop as I mentioned. So let's say for x, let's use the variable x. And let's look at the values from say 1 to 10. So for x in, and let's put in the range of 0 to 10. As you'll see, there are three options here. There's a start, stop, and there's step. For now, we'll just use the start and stop. So let's start at 0, and let's go to 10. And let's look at how this program will actually run now. And hopefully, it'll show a count from 0 to 10. Now let's look at the formatting. When I hit the enter key, it's showing me the cursor at this particular point. If I then start typing at the beginning of the line, it means that it is a separate uh, command which is outside the for loop. I have to include it at this point if I want to include it at within that for loop. So if I want to print x, and let's put in the variable x, sorry. So print x in brackets, and let's try running that program now. Let's look at the results. Now we have included print x within that for loop. So let's go in and clear, and let's do the, okay, there is an error here. There's a syntax error. Let's look at where the error has occurred, and I can see it straight away. Next to the bracket next to 10, there is a little red marking. If I hover over there, it will tell me uh, it is expecting a colon. So in Python, I need to put a colon at the end of this line. So let's put that colon in. And now the code looks better. Let's run that program again. And let's look at the results. So Python, hello.py. Notice it now runs the first part of the program as it did before, and then 0 to 9. So as you can see, the for loop with the indentation of the print x works. The If I did it this way, now print is outside the for loop. And let's look at what happens when we run the program this time. It tells me indent expected. So this program is actually giving us a warning that they are expecting an indentation at this point. Now I'm going to ignore that warning. And let's just show what happens when we run the program again. Notice it says here indentation error expected an indented block. So it's telling us that the x was not recognized because it was outside the for loop. Now we need to indent that to make sure that it is in that particular loop. Otherwise, it will throw an error. As I said, in Python, it is imperative that you use the indentation well because it will determine how the program groups the code together. If we wanted to take the indentation a bit further, we can actually define another for loop within this first for loop. And to do that, we simply use the indentation. And in this case, it's a double indentation. So we will use the variable y. And let's see whether we can actually do a double count. So to do that, we need to have a variable y. 
and let's look at also setting a range for that so for y i n range and let's look at 0 to 10 again it's throwing that error on the right hand side because it's expecting that colon as you can see so i need to go to the notice that the line is now again slightly inwards so it's expecting the indentation and let's go in and type in at this point print y and let's look at whether that will actually work and I'll put y in brackets so it'll print the variable y. Now I just want to change these values slightly because I don't want it to go right down the page so let's go 0 to 2 and let's look at y from 4 to 6. That will be neater so it'll count x from 1 to 2 and then the variable y will count accordingly. So as you can see it's got 0, 4, 5 and then 1, 4, 5. So what it's done is counted the for loop for x and then it's done a couple for y as well. And that's how you use the double indentation for Python and this gives you the ability to manage your code in a better way and as it is imperative for Python to recognize which code is grouped together this is very handy.